Hello, and welcome back to Rongmar. In today's geography lesson, we'll be taking our first baby steps into the world of outer space. We'll be looking at the topic of the solar system. Our waltz for today's lesson is to understand what the solar system is and what we would find there. So grab yourself a piece of paper and a pencil and let's begin our journey. The universe is a very big place and there is a lot to still learn about it too. But you probably already know some things about space, the universe and the solar system. Pause the video and write down a few facts that you already know. When we talk about the universe, we mean every single thing that exists. That means every piece of dust, every bit of energy, and every single thing that is on Earth and beyond. Here are a few mind-boggling universe facts to get us started. Number 1. The universe is still growing every second, so you can never actually reach the end or the edge of the universe. Imagine we had magic powers and could teleport ourselves to the furthest point away. What do you think we would see there? Number 2. There are more stars in the universe than grains of sand on Earth. That means if we gathered up all the sand on all of the beaches, we dove deep down and gathered all the sand at the bottom of the oceans, and we put it all together, there's still more stars in the universe than that. Number 3. It would take our fastest plane more than a million years to reach the next closest star to Earth. Number 4. The universe is nearly 14 billion years old. That number is so enormous, it's kind of hard for our brains to even understand how old that is. And finally, number 5. Space is a vacuum. Not quite a vacuum cleaner, but it does have something in common. There is absolutely no air for you to breathe in space just like inside of your vacuum cleaner too. Does your brain hurt as much as mine right now? Sometimes the sizes and distances involved with space and everything in it are just too huge for our brains to even handle. Within this ever-growing universe are a few small pockets of energy called galaxies. You've probably heard of these before. These are collections of lots of stars in one particular area of the universe. Our galaxy is called the Milky Way. Inside the Milky Way is our teeny tiny solar system. When we talk about the solar system, we're talking about everything that spins around the sun. This can include planets, moons, stars, asteroids, comets, and other space junk too. All of these things orbit, or go around, the sun. Time for a little activity. I'm going to show you a picture of our solar system. I want you to pause the video and see if you can name all of the planets that you can see in the picture. Once you've named them, see if you can find any other space stuff in the picture. When you're ready, you can pause the video and give it a try. Well, how did you get on? Were you able to name all the planets that you could see? Did you notice any other space things flying around? Well, I'm sure you noticed the giant ball of fire in the middle of the picture. That, of course, is the sun. But what exactly is the sun. Pause the video and see if you can figure out what the sun is.
The sun is a star. Stars are huge balls of exploding gas. Remember, there are billions of stars in our universe. The sun just happens to be the one that's closest to Earth. And just as well, because the sun produces most of our heat and light. Without it, there would be no hope for life on Earth. But other than the sun and the planets, what other things are there in the solar system? Pause the video and see if you can name three different things. Well, if you look up at the night sky, you're sure to notice one of them. Most of the planets that we know of have moons that orbit them. Some planets, like Earth, have only got one moon. Other planets, like Saturn, have many moons. Saturn has a total of 82 different moons. Can you imagine what the night sky must look like? As well as moons, we also have asteroids whizzing above our heads. Asteroids are big pieces of rock and metal that fly through our solar system. Sometimes these asteroids crash into planets or moons. If you look closely at the moon's surface, you can actually see the craters where asteroids have crashed. And asteroids have landed on Earth too. So watch your head next time you're out stargazing. A close relative to the asteroids, and often confused with them, are comets. Comets are a bit like asteroids, but they're made up of dust, gas and ice unlike the rock and metal that asteroids are made from. Comets orbit the sun just like the planets and the moons. Sometimes little bits break off comets and turn into meteors. These are seen as shooting stars back on Earth. So next time you see a shooting star, you know exactly what you're looking at. A little ball of dust, gas and ice. There are many other weird and wonderful things out there in the universe. Things like black holes and dwarf planets, or supernovas and abandoned satellites. We'll discuss some of these in more detail in future lessons. But for now, let me leave you with this question. If there are billions of stars and loads of other galaxies, in our forever growing universe. Do you think that there is another planet like Earth somewhere out there? And if you do, do you think there's living creatures on that planet? You can let me know in the comments down below. So our Walt for today's lesson was to understand what the solar system is, and to look at a few of the things we might find in it. Hopefully, you can do that now. If you enjoyed the video, why not subscribe, check out these other videos, or visit the Wrong Mar website to find activities to go with this lesson. That's all we have time for today. Until next time, take care.